We're completely left in the dark. For those in the Chinatown International District, it's history repeating itself. It feels like King County and the city of Seattle is engaged in this pattern of institutional racism that they may not be aware that they're engaging in, and we have to let them know that this has to stop. Tanya Wu is a business owner and part of the Chinatown International District Community Watch. So this currently is an encampment. She witnessed the struggle from the last three years. Anti-Asian hate, a lot of pandemic racism, crime, our businesses were seriously struggling. Add in the recent Sound Transit redesign plans that would displace five to 19 businesses and take 11 years of construction. Our culture is very polite. We don't like to make waves. We don't want to cause any trouble. And so I feel like we get taken advantage. Wu and other community members found out last month about a major expansion of a homeless shelter near Soto and the CID. The King County Council approved the project in May. We have about five shelters in this district and we feel like we're already overburdened. The shelter would house nearly 500 people. It's like there's going to be tiny homes along here space for RVs like right here. I believe according to the map, there's RVs and a sobering center. The enhanced shelter project costing around $22 million to operate through a variety of funding sources. If you want to put a facility across the street from our community, you must let us know. You must talk to us. Wu says it's not the unhoused, but those that prey on them, citing drug dealers and prostitution. I believe the majority of the community engagement is in front of us. Uh, specific to the particular uses and design of the site. They cannot make decisions for our community without our input. The CID is hosting an informational meeting and so many people are interested. They're actually moving it outside to Hinghe Park where I am right now. It'll be on September 8th. The county did respond to me and said that they reached out to a dozen groups before that vote, but didn't specify what groups they reached out to. They said moving forward, they plan to hire an outreach worker to work directly with the CID community. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.